Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to make this effect in Photoshop like hole in the paper. It will took about 10 minutes and everything you need will be in the description so you can download that. And let's start. Alright, let's start. So first here I duplicated this background image, default image, so I can turn off background. Make sure image is selected. Now we work only on sky, so we want to delete sky. Now take your quick selection tool right here, just drag over that, it should snap as you can see but we didn't select everything between those branches and some trees as you can see, we will fix that now. Make sure your quick selection tool is selected, right click, select, select inverse, now everything is selected but only sky is not selected and that's good because we want to delete sky but save ground and hills. Now go here, select and mask, click that, you will be in new interface. Now here in properties, let's set up it, properties, view, make it on overlay, usually it's by default but if not put it on overlay. Now down here output to new layer and leave it like that. Now here you have nice tool called refine the edge brush tool, with that tool I will zoom in a little. Make sure that tool is on plus and about 90 pixel size. And as you can see everything that is red will be deleted and everything that is normal color will stay. As you can see now between those branches is some something that we want to be deleted and it won't be deleted in this stage. So just go with that brush you just selected and drag it over, paint it. As you can see between those branches it's now red and that's good, we want that. And as you can see part of those branches will be deleted, we don't want them deleted, so drag over that and it appears in normal color and now it's good and I will fast forward everything so it's not boring to you. Alright, now I selected everything, I selected some up, up here, you know, I drag with that brush so it's everything is selected. But don't worry if something you missed, it will still look great. Now press OK if you're done. As you can see we on new layer have image that is only our ground, but this image right here, as you can see we can we don't need that we can delete that so press that and then delete on your keyboard or right click and delete so now we have this image let's rename it only in image now we want to put our sky here we have this this is only in color i guess yeah only color so drag it over here control t drag it all over the place all over the sky show you now how so as you can see like this so you don't see any of, of that sky press enter now drag that layer underneath the image and it's right there as you can see the sky is now let's say whitish gray yeah now let's call this uh, sky all right now we have, we know that sky and above that is image now we want to uh, bring in our uh, hole in paper. So take that, just go to here and put it right there. As you can see it's perfect in size for me, maybe for you it's not, so control T and resize it. I won't resize it, I will only move it a little. And I guess that's nice. And I will leave it like that but now we don't have hole right here and that hole is because our sky as you can see is filling it so we can uh, we can erase part of our sky and that is this part so click on sky oh let's rename this to hole let's paper hole paper hole okay now uh, make sure your sky layer is selected use eraser or press E and just drag over that as you can see we are erasing our background sky erase everything all right
right. Now that's erased and we can bring our image. That image is right here. Our moon. So just drag it. And we have a little problem and that's right here. As you can see if I move that that's that image. And that's because our sky is underneath that image. Let's call that image moon. Moon. All right. And we want moon to be last layer. So it appears only in that hole. So just take moon and bring it down. So make sure you have like this image, paper, hole, sky, moon, as you can see right there. And we want to make it larger. So control T and make it larger. It will be like this for me. You can change it, of course. Enter when you're happy. And it's a bit boring, at least to me. So let's bring in some stars. Here I have this nice image with a lot of stars. Bring it in. And it's nicely positioned. Uh, so make it above the moon. Let's call it star, stars. It should be above the moon, but underneath the sky and the paper hole and like this. So just copy this setup. Make sure your stars is selected. Control T maybe you want to... Oh, why I turned on this. Control T maybe you want to reposition. I don't want. I want it like that. Now, here you have this uh, drop down menu. And click that. And you will get a lot of options. You can play with that, but I found the best for me is overlay. Click on overlay and it's a bit too dark and too shiny, I guess, for me. So I will bring opacity of that layer stars to 50. Let's make it 50. And as you can see, there is our moon with some stars that are kind of blurry in the background. I want that. But there is still one little problem. And that problem is this line right here. And that's because if I turn off my sky, this layer, this hole is a slightly different uh, shade of gray or white. Um, as you can see, yeah, slightly different, but we will merge that now. So make sure your paper hole and sky is selected. You will do that by first click on paper hole, then hold shift and then click sky. Now you have two layers selected, right click, merge layers. Now it's one layer called paper hole. Now take your spot healing brush tool, really nice tool, it's right here. Make it on uh, 200 for me, maybe you can do bitter, uh, bigger. And just uh, paint over that, as you can see I'm still holding my mouse, le left mouse click and now I will Stop holding that and you will see the magic. Give your computer a little time. And there is no... Oh yeah, it's a little here, but drag again. And there is no... Uh, that line, it merged. So that's really nice tool. As you can see, I'm still holding. I will stop holding it and... Ta-da! No line. So last thing right here. And... Ta-da, it's over and we have our nice effect. Now you are ready to post it to, I guess, Instagram or somewhere or something. And I, uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something and see you guys next episode. Bye.